So yeah, guys, I told you there'd be a review coming out soon that would probably alienate a bunch of you, and this is it. Um, this is a My Little Pony figure. Yes. Yes, I am a brony. Awesome John 22, your hero, is in fact a fan of My Little Pony. This is Rainbow Dash. She's not nearly this cute on the show. She's a lot cooler looking. Um, with better hair. This 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 review is going to be quick. It's just kind of a way for me to have a little bit of fun. Though I don't want you to think this review is a joke. This is a serious review, and I'm going to spend a lot less time talking on the talking about the figure itself than I am about the show. Um, this is by Hasbro. It's it's well done. The paint's good. The sculpt is good. Um, it's got a little bit of articulation. The head rotates. I modified it a little bit. Um, cut the hair which sounds a lot more girly now that I say it out loud than it did in my head. Um, but understand, there is nothing wrong with liking this show. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a brony is, it's male fans of the current My Little Pony series, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, which was spearheaded by probably the greatest animator of all time, Lauren Faust. Or at least the greatest modern animator. I wouldn't say all time, that would be disrespecting a lot of great animators. Um, wouldn't be giving them enough credit, but she is a fantastic animator and easily my favorite and probably one of my heroes. Um, she's she's a great writer, a great animator, a great artist in general. Um, she's one of the reasons I like drawing cartoons, which I realize none of you have ever seen any of my cartoons, so you don't know anything about that. But she's been a big influence on my life, she, and I've followed her work for many years now. Not only that, but she, she's really good at, character, at characterizing people. I think if this were a male-oriented show that she spearheaded, it would be just as good. Easily. She's not one of those writers who can only write one gender or the other. And every character she's ever written has seemed very real to me. There is also a certain appeal to a show with female protagonists. I, even though I am a male, there are times when I find male protagonists these days to just be too stereotypical. There's kind of this movement in writing to... That's better. That's better. Um, there's kind of this movement in writing nowadays to make females more well-rounded characters, while as male characters can still be just the same as they've always been. And so I find most female protagonists to be a lot stronger than the male protagonists. Um, this show... It just does a good job all around, and this is my favorite character from the show. So even though the toy doesn't look all that much like the character, just like I would buy a Transformer that doesn't look much like its on-screen counterpart, I figured this thing was on clearance. It was $4. I might as well buy it. Um, I enjoy having it. I don't feel like I, I wasted my money or anything. And I certainly don't feel like um, I've wasted my time watching this character on the series. It's a good show, and those of you who are too proud to check it out really need to rethink that. It's it's worth a look. Um, it's it's goofy. It's silly. It is primarily a girl's show, but the writing and the animation, I think, more than makes up for that. And and yeah, I, I mean, there's nothing really else, nothing else I can really say about it. It's except that even though it usually does deal with mundane situations more mundane than most cartoons. It can really bring the action when it needs to. That's one of the staples of a Faust show. She's good at it. Uh, and it, this is primarily, primarily enunciate, primarily her animation, even though, if I'm not mistaken, she's a little more distant from the show nowadays than she used to be. It's still her animation style. And so it can still really bring the action when it needs to. This character in particular is kind of a is kind of a fighter pilot. She's incredibly action oriented. She does all kinds of fantastic, visually interesting things, and that's one of the things that this show, show does well. When it needs to show action, it shows it very well, better than I think most modern cartoons. Um, so yeah, that's all for this review. Um, it's a good toy. I don't I don't think it necessarily needs to be bought. The toys are very specifically geared towards ch young children, while the show is only somewhat geared towards young children. Um, comparatively to how 
the old Batman the animated series was only kind of sort of geared towards young children uh, if that makes any sense to anybody um, so I do not rec recommend the toy <laughs> this was more an excuse for me to come out and recommend the series as a whole um, guys, girls, everybody check this series out I, I don't think you'll regret it if, if you do let me know um, call me names, whatever you gotta do but I don't think you will, and I hope this has opened up some of your minds. Peace out.